Balik po tayo mga kaligat sa ating palatutun ng Danny Sonair at sa bahagi nito ay ating pong feature ang uh, events that matter because the people behind the events are people who matter. <laughs> so makakasama po natin dito ang mga sumusunod, si Architect Jasper Resari, he is an architect by profession, and Mr. Bong Odal, a visiting guest from Singapore, he is not a Singaporean but a uh, diehard Filipino or oh, true-blooded Filipino. So with me is uh, our executive producer, Pari Dane, and uh, Tessa Del Rosario. Pari? Well, n number one, itong, itong program natin, uh, we are very glad to have with us this kind of people uh, to share with us some of their information about their project and their vocation. So let me start maybe, uh, ki Art, uh, ki Mr. Bong Odal, uh, I'm giving you the time to, you know, greet our viewers. Uh, so maybe you can use them. Hi, uh, si Bong po, dahil po to ng uh, Singapore, uh, the Pinoy Grapers of Singapore. How about you, eh, Architect uh, Risari? I'm Architect Jasper Risari, member of Nature's Light, Davao Base, Landscape Photographers, Enthusiast. Ah, okay. Now let me start with Bong. Uh, Bong, you are here in the Philippines for what? Uh, uh, are you here for good or where are you I'm based? I'm visiting uh, Philippines for holiday. Um, I'm looking for some photos. Oh, sorry. I'm looking for some photos uh, that I can uh, exhibit this coming uh, Independence Day uh, sa Conrad Hotel in Singapore. Singapore. Okay. Okay. Uh, they have invited some uh, culinary experts and they want to have some visuals. Uh -huh. And the Pinoy groupers at Singapore are, were invited to do and exhibit. So generally, your profession is more on uh, events, engineering, or what? Uh, no, actually, I, I have a day job. Day job, yeah. Uh, day job. But you're yeah, organizing some events. Photography is a passion. You're organizing some events yeah, also. Yeah, we are organizing some yeah. events. Yeah, maganda ito pare para ma-promote naman yung tourism natin sa Singapore. Yeah. Actually, that is really the reason why he's here. Kasi because of the invitation also to come to Davao and see for himself. No, kanu pwede ano? And by the way, maybe he's just very modest to mention that he is a banker. He works with Citibank in Singapore. And this passion of his, the photography, is really like so close to his heart that he became. He is actually the founder of Pinoy Graphers at Singapore. At Singapore. So generally, bong ang plan mo kung kuwaga na malitrato dito, then dadalhin mo sa Singapore. Yes. To, to exhibit them. Then, uh, is this for sale or just for commercial oh, yeah. purposes? This is for sale and all the proceeds will go to a charitable institution. Ah, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. but, but what made you choose Davao? Uh, <clears throat> actually, this is what happened. The um, team is all about, uh, it's more fun in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And we have, uh, we have decided that it's going to be done on three regions, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And we found out that not much of us doesn't have the materials coming from Mindanao. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go to, Min to Dabao to, to, to get some photos for the exhibits. Because we have already, from Luzon, from Batanes to Sambales, we have those things. Like in Visayas, we have Cebu, Bohol, and other parts, but not in Dabao or in, in, in other. I, yesterday, we, we, have, we had some Dakak photos, but uh, we're still looking into it. So Dabao will be one of the main features of the exhibit. Actually. We're able to take some pictures already. Oh, yes, I was here. I was uh, shooting this morning. Uh, apply uh, the di, Malag. Dumalag. Yeah, Dumalag. I was there. One of my member uh, is a Dabaweño, mm -hmm. and his father was good enough to escort me there. Yes. We were in, in the there is a turtle sanctuary ah. in yes. Dumalag, so we went there. There is this famous uh, lone tree, on the on, it's a lone tree in the middle of the sea. Na, so I took some photos nice of it. Oh, sunken, yeah. sunken tree? It's not a sunken no. tree. Parang nag-iisa siyang tree. Eh, ah. Nag-iisa siyang tree doon sa gitna ng dagat. Hindi so, mo tayo, hindi ko alam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So we were really, I'm really excited to to show that to the people that uh -huh. there is such a thing. Not, not, kasi 
the Bao is famous for Pearl Farm and other, ano, but oh, yeah. those uh, areas na hindi pa nakikita talagang uh, we'll showcasing, we'll showcasing in them. Uh, we'll what showcasing. is the chances that this picture will, you know, will be uh, disposed or will be uh, the market of Singapore? I truly believe na ito ay mabibenta eh. Ah, okay. Mabibenta yung photo. Uh -huh. And it will get a, if, na, if I'm not mistaken, siguro we can get a good price for it and be able to give more on the charitable institution mm -hmm. that we want. And I'm to just give. curious, uh, you mentioned that the proceeds will go to a charitable institution. No? Mm. Will this include charities in the Philippines? Specifically, it's a charitable institution in the Philippines. We're still oh, coordinating nice. with uh, the Philippine Embassy. Mm -hmm. We do not know yet, mm -hmm. but uh, for sure, it's, it's a Filipino institution, charitable institution. Well, what particular charities in the Philippines? No, we don't have that yet. Uh, uh, maybe later. We have, uh, we have uh, selected some, but mm -hmm. uh, we, I cannot tell you. Yes. Is this, is this, the, is this uh, your first time project in Singapore? Where you have no, to... not really. Yeah. <clears throat> we are so much affiliated with the Philippine Embassy. Wow. Uh, every event that they have, we are being asked to do a documentation, meaning we do the photography and the videos for, for the embassy, the Filipino embassy. Mm -hmm. But I uh, gusto ko lang tanungin si Bong, how long have you been in this uh, passion of yours? <laughs> 1984 pa. It started, uh, actually, it's a political ano eh, uh, thing na nangyari sa akin. Mm -hmm. It was in 1984 during uh, the People's Power. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I was there and I got interested to document what is happening because I know it's a history in the making. So I bought a camera and then took some photos and the rallies and everything. 28 years. And then it evolved and then it goes to, I brought it until nakarating ako ng Singapore. So the passion goes on until now. Talagala ko siya. Let's go to architect Rosari. Rosari. Uh, Rosari. Yes, sir. Uh, I swear you are based in Dabo or somewhere else? Dabo. Based Dabo. in Dabo. And your focus in landscaping? Yes. Uh, uh, meaning yung mga bahay, uh, yung landscape, yung mga grounds. Is that the one? No, no, no. More on the scenery of the, the place. Photography. Uh -huh. Ah, you are in photography. Yeah. Not landscape. On the, not on the infrastructure. No, no, no. Okay. Landscape so photography. So almost the same line of industry. Yes, sir. Yeah. The same line. Uh -huh. The same passion. <laughs> ah, the same passion. So, have you? Do you have pictures also? Yes, we have already. Our group is. Uh, we have several photos already in the Obul Dabao. So, is it the partnership? Uh, no. no, no, no. So this is separate and separate, separate. And the same objective where you're going to market all these pictures here in yes, Doha. Yes. Yeah. Is this the first time? Uh, we we already uh, 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 conducted a exhibit in Abriza Mall. Uh -huh. Uh, but it was not a for charity. Yeah. So the purpose for that is to showcase the the different uh, landscape of Mindanao. How is the market? Uh, were the items sold or no, no? Uh, you are not was, selling it or? Uh, but now in in Dabao del Norte, it will be for sale. Mm -hmm. The exhibit mm -hmm. on June 25 to July 1. Yeah. It will be for sale. Because I noticed that it's more expensive printing than mm -hmm. the photography items. Uh, why is it uh, more expensive? The, the one, the uh, mm -hmm. canvas? Uh, oh, yeah, the mm -hmm. yeah, canvas printing. Yeah, yeah. Why, why is it more expensive? It's more expensive because uh, it's a different type of printing. They, they print it on a canvas, and really, it looked like uh, a painting. There was a time, uh, it was in 2007, that we have an exhibit also. And then we use a canvas printing. Okay. And that nga kasi kami, we observed that some of the people who visited, nagtatalo talaga sila na it was, is it really a painting or is it just a photo? Nagtatalunan. Kasi it re, if you're going to look at it, para siyang painting. So it, it sells more. I'm very interested. Ano ba yung diferensya ng photography, photo at saka painted uh, or printing, uh, cam canvas printing items? They're not, not much. It's just, it's just it's a, a, the material that been used to that uh, to 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 the medium that was used is, ano, canvas. Well, depending on sa tumiting it, because, misan iba yung appreciation mo sa canvas at sa photography. Actually, it looks better on a canvas. It looks better. On the canvas. It looks better on a canvas. But of course, depending on sa artist. Mm -hmm. I depend on it. Pero mga kabingan sa ating magbabapalik ay ating po tatanungin si Architect Rizari who is our very own because he is from Davao 
Uh, dito po sa ating palatutunang Danny Sonay. Right after these reminders.